Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back. It is Brandon again. You are watching some of my box squats from today, which is Thursday, June 20th. Now, for box squats, what I'm trying to really work on is my form. This is a great tool to use. If you don't have a box, you can also use a bench. But as you can see here, one of the things that I'm trying to do, and you'll see at these other angles as the video plays on, trying to get a very wide stance. My toes are flared out. And what I'm focusing on is pushing my butt back instead of down and also pushing my knees out. And with this, if you compare it to some of the other videos where I put just free bar squatting without the box, what you'll find is my knees tend to track a little bit more far forward. So having a box here or having a bench really helps you sit back a little bit better. There's no fear of falling. And even though I'm sure many of you will say you don't have a fear of falling anyways, it does make a huge difference. So now you see the infamous teabag shot, which I've shown a couple times before, but I want you to just see where my legs are. Now, ideally, I'd actually want my toes and feet a little bit wider. Just my hips are really tight. So that's something I'm going to need to work on. You can also see that my stance is actually a little bit off. It's not very even. As you can see from this shot, maybe even, I don't even think the box is straight, so I need to do a better job of lining that up because it's leading me to have a little bit off of a stance. So there you see, again, not a typically even stance. I'm not really too worried about it right here, but I want you to see again how flared out my legs are as well as trying to push my knees out. So I'm trying to keep my knees over my ankles and I'm doing a fairly good job here. You'll also notice that on these, I'm going with a fairly slow motion on this and that's because I'm really, really trying to convince myself to push my butt out and sit back again instead of down. Now, as part of this, what I would do is after each set that I recorded, I would watch it and try to pick up things that I'm doing wrong. So in this case, my knees tend to come a little bit more far forward than they had been in the previous sets. And again, I'm not really focusing on pushing my butt out, it looks like, in this sense. So part of the problem with this is there's a lot of things I want to work on. Now, obviously, I'm trying to get my feet flared out. I'm trying to keep my knees pointed out. I'm trying to sit back. I'm trying to keep good form. I'm trying not to lean too far forward so with this unfortunately although these are great to really help fix form when you're trying to focus on everything that's going on what tends up happening is you don't really do anything really well so what I would suggest if you're going to do these box squats which again I would highly suggest and by the way here I'm not flaring my knees out wide enough there you go I started to do it in this case is focus on one thing at a time and get that down. Fix one aspect of any lift you're trying to do before trying to fix the complete lift. Because again, if you're worried about everything that's going on, then chances are you're going to forget the other things anyways, and form is just going to suffer. So for this one, I wasn't really happy with this set, and I know I, I know I say that a lot, I'm really hard on myself, but that's because I'm trying to get better. I'm trying to find things to work on. And speaking of things to work on, I'm sure many of you will mention my calves. So thank you. I appreciate that. I do need to work on my calves. I know. Anyways, moving on. Keep going here <clears throat> with these box squats. Uh, just really didn't go too, too heavy. I think the heaviest I went was 370 pounds. Just did reps of five in this case. Again, just really focusing on form and feel. And that's one of the reasons why, again, I'm slowing this down because I want to make sure that I'm doing things right and I'm feeling it where I'm supposed to be feeling it. Now, for my actual workout today, I did a several sets of this, and if you ever wanna see my exact workout, you can follow me on Fitocracy. I put the link in the description box below. But I did several sets of this, so five sets, or I'm sorry, five reps each, and then eventually I moved on to deadlifts. If you follow me on Instagram, which again is linked below, you'll know I was working on my hook grip as well, so today was really just to get in the gym and work on things. This is my, I believe, my last set, so I went up to as high as 370 and then went back down to... This is 230 because again, those clips are two and a half pounds each. So that was my workout for today. Again, these things really help trying to fix that butt wick as well as really trying to just work on getting parallel and then explode up to help with my power meet. In the meantime, everybody, thanks for watching and stay big.